Welcome back, uh, ladies and drones. This is Bees, Beers, and a Beard, and I'm your beard. We're back at the Ape May Hives with sweet pepper bush uh, just starting to bloom, uh, making sure that these hives are ready for the flow. So, uh, to do that, I'm just going to make sure that they are not honey bound. If they need another super, I'll add it. I took the super off last week. I left empty frames and took frames that were built out, but they were all filled with sugar water. And now I stopped feeding. So anything that's in here now is good honey that I can take. So we'll start by taking a peek in here before we move down. I'm just gonna give them a little bit of smoke up top. I don't wanna smoke my honey. Now I did have the queen laying up here, which is why the queen, the uh, yeah, the queen excluder is on. But it doesn't look like there's anything for me to take uh, quite yet. Flow is just beginning. Spray these with a little bit of sugar water. help uh, bees build things out. All right, there was nothing to see up top here. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this off. One thing about these uh, Ape May hives that is kinda, I don't know if it's tougher, but you can't quite stick the um, hive tool in the front or the back to pry it. You have to come at it like this, right under the side to separate those. Probably gonna end up doing away with these spacers um, when it comes down to it. They take extra time, and the bees build a propolis between them, makes everything very sticky. I'll leave them for the rest of this year at least, see how if I change my mind. Now this is a great frame if you are honey bound to put right in the middle. So you gotta brood all the way to the top. And you want that because the bees want to store uh, honey above their brood. So if you have brood all the way to the top, they're going to store that honey in your super. This one has honey at the top, so it's not necessarily a frame we want in the middle. Got a few uh, empty swarm cells. Nothing to worry about, as long as they're empty. And I'll spray the bottom of this a little bit. Maybe I'll get them to build out some more. So you don't get holes like this with plastic. 
the plastic foundation. That's one thing I like. Makes for a much neater looking frame. So I'm still looking for eggs. This capped brood is nice, but it doesn't tell me that my queen is in here and looking healthy. I see some larger larvae at the bottom. Just doing a quick scan for the queen, getting rid of these. Still no, still no eggs that I can see. There's our queen right there with her butt right in a cell. See that? Nice. Well, I know she's laying. Yeah, I see a bunch of eggs. The larvae looks nice and wet. We got brood all the way to the top. Nothing more I need to see in this hive. Uh, I'm going to check. I am going to check this last frame because I believe it was a new one that I put in uh, a couple weeks ago. I just want to make sure it's um, getting built out because I know the queen is on that. I want to be very careful. Yeah, see, he's uh, still working on building this out. I'm going to give it a spray. Now because I like the look of that first frame I took out, I'm going to throw that one right in the middle. Those bees are going to hatch out real shortly and it'll ensure that uh, I'm not honey bound. Alright, nothing more I need to see. I just got to put the, um, the spacers back on. Um, I will put the honey super I took off last week uh, on top of this other one um, to make sure that they have plenty of room. And uh, hopefully in the next week, the uh, pepper bush will really bloom and then uh, I'll start getting a lot of honey. So um, I'm gonna close this up and take a look at the next one. Yeah, they still have Plenty of space on this one. Um, when I go to put everything back together, I'll give it a spray. I'll leave that super off just for a little bit longer, uh, give them time to build this one out. Normally I start across, but I'm going to start on this side because uh, there are a lot more bees over there. Uh, more likely that the queen is right there. All right, got one frame that's pretty much all honey. There's a little bit of uh, cap brood in there. Give it a spray in these corners. Just honey. Decent amount of cat brood. Haven't seen any eggs yet. There's some eggs. Little grains of rice. The queen should be near here somewhere. They look pretty fresh. No brood on this one. 
just honey. I'd like to move this one out. Got plenty of room on this frame too to lay. Larvae on that side. This one's all honey too. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go down here, see if I can find something a little better suited for up top. This one has brood to the top. It's not a bad frame to move up. Better than what I got. This frame too. Brood all the way to the top. So empty space. All right, those are going to be my two frames that I move. So I'll take this one. One new outside frame. Take this one. For now, I'm just going to set it here so I can set that back up down there. Yeah, there's really not much to see now. Um, I'm just going to put the spacers back in. Uh, I'm going to put this back together. Uh, moving these frames with more honey towards the outside and I have three frames here I believe that uh, I'm gonna put right in the middle I'll drop these right in got to make sure the queen isn't down there now when I put everything back all right so I'll put the spacers back on I'm gonna make sure that the queen didn't go down into my little stand here um, other than that I'm gonna spray the the uh, honey super, the frames in there, make sure they keep building those out and just close everything back up. And uh, until next time.